Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance campers. So I was scrolling through my videos the other day, actually this morning, and I was looking for a camper model that I haven't videoed in a while, and I was like, I've got plenty here to video, so I'll, I'll take the pickings that way. And I could not believe my eyes when I saw that I haven't done a 825 video in almost a year. I think uh, last November is the last time that I've done a video on a Lance 825, which is Lance's smallest and lightest and cheapest four season truck camper. So 825 is the star of today's show. I have one right here and I've got another one right here behind me. But uh, we'll go ahead and video this one right here. This is the one that I picked. It's a 2024 model Lance 825. Like I said, this is Lance's smallest, lightest, and cheapest truck camper in current production. The smallest camper is gonna be your 650. I don't really stock those anymore just because they were really designed for a half ton bed. You know, uh, like a five and a half foot bed. Uh, I meant half ton truck, by the way, but uh, designed for like a five and a half foot bed. So there's not really a whole lot of half tons out there that are capable of hauling it as it's around like 2,100 pounds. So. Uh, the 825s are really what we stock now for the small light ones um, and they are designed for a 250 to 2500 series short bed single rear wheel truck so the 825 i have everything right here on this paper everything's transparent it comes in weighing at 2243 pounds dry that's before you add any water to the tank uh, propane your gear to the camper to the truck uh, and you in the vehicle as well. So 2,243 pounds dry. Uh, that's going to be with all of your optional equipment here on the side. That's going to include your awnings, your uh, backup camera, your load rack system, the overhead cabinet bunk, and solar panel. This one is only applicable for one solar panel. You go up to the 865, you can get two, but this one right here you're limited to one 100 watt solar panel through the factory. Other options that you can do on this camper is gonna be the child restraint with bunk pad, the uh, antenna LTE Wi-Fi cell phone booster, lithium battery, auto satellite, and that would add about $3,900 more right there. So price on this camper, we'll go ahead and get that out of the way because everybody always wants to know the price. You're looking at a base price of $51,000 five hundred and seventy seven dollars with the factory options that i have on this one and the uh, destination charge you're looking at a total msrp of fifty seven thousand fifty seven dollars and seventy five cents and then of course you could add that thirty nine hundred in if you wanted all that other stuff too which would push you a little over sixty grand so you you've got a camper here that ranges between fifty one and sixty grand so uh that should give you you know a good idea of what the ranges the pricing is is on the 825 and like i said these are designed for your 250 2500 350 and 3 uh, 3500 series short bed single rear wheel trucks uh, you can also call me at 423-892-6272 for the bsrp pricing it's a lot better than the msrp it's not 30,000 or anything like that uh, it's actually not even in the 30s so um but it's a lot better than 57 or 60 you know what i'm saying so um yeah let's get on with the video okay so when you walk into the 825 first thing you're going to notice is right here on the right when you walk in is going to be your wet bath so wet bath means that you get to share the shower and the toilet together works out as a built-in bidet style super clean and efficient no toilet paper required toilet is right here I know it's red in there that's ain't a freeze it looks like somebody had a really bad day but I promise you it's just ain't a freeze make sure things don't freeze and bust here so in the 825 what's different from this one in the 865 the sister model that's uh, the next step up from this one is this one does not have a sink in the bathroom you notice that there's a uh, no sink in here it's right across right here but uh, that helps give you more room for uh, showering and more knee space if you're sitting on the, uh, you know, the uh, John here. 
but if you do prefer a sink in the bathroom then you would need to go ahead and go up to the 865 I believe about a hundred hundred and fifty pound difference there between the two price wise is almost the same it's about twelve hundred dollars you gain a couple other things as well but uh what you'll notice is in here you have a built-in handle uh or a rack for your towel maybe a little fan right there so you can air it out in here whether you stock it up or need to let out some humidity and then you have your toilet paper holster right here on the side like i said don't even need it though and then you also have ducted heat run throughout it's nice that this is also on a sliding door that way you don't have anything opening up in your way right here go ahead and get out of the way like this look at that would have been nice to open up the other way maybe i don't really know probably limited things that you can do with these uh, but here's one of your closets it's a really good size closet and then i also get all my weights right here on the inside of the camper so if you are looking at a, at a camper and you don't actually know how much it weighs you can always go to this sticker on the inside it says 2539 pounds with factory installed equipment uh, that includes let's see water and propane so to get your dry weight you would subtract 269 pounds and that should put you around that 200 and uh wait 2243 pound mark also if this had batteries this would be lit whenever you open the door but there is no batteries in this camper we actually don't install batteries inside of these until they're ready to go all right so We'll go ahead and go over the dinette now. So your dinette also makes into a bed this U-shaped deal right here. When you uh, take the, it, it's, I should actually do a video on how to do this. So you're gonna use the table to make this into a bed and then you're going to use the cushions here as filler to uh, help make the bed. When you have it made down into a bed, you're looking at 36 by 70 inches. So, that's what three foot by almost uh, six foot and I reckon if you were to sleep a little uh, sideways there you could get you know somebody that is six foot on this I've got the window already kicked out these do have built-in day and night shades use this one as a bug screen helps keep all the uh, little bugs from flying in and joining your little camping parade and then you've got this right here which is going to be your nightshade and help block out all the peeping toms helps to uh, block out you know all the light and stuff too so you can darken it up in here this right here is going to be the fold down bunk a lot of people use this as uh, extra storage it's uh, good for about 150 pounds this piece of wood in here when you have it folded down this goes over these holes that way you don't have stuff falling through the uh, doors here. All of your switches um, are going to be on this wall. You're going to have some over here below the closet as well for like your exterior lighting. But over here you're going to find switches for your awning. That's going to be the auto awning on the side. Uh, if you leave the power on you're gonna be able to have that auto wind sensing activated. That way it's gonna roll itself back in if it gets too windy. And then you have your light activation switch here on the side of that. Key rack, I don't have keys on me for whatever reason to show you that, but uh, they are trusted and they will hold your keys. Look how strong those are. Window caution. So this is one of the complaints that people have about these new windows. It does not make sense to me, I love them. But uh, a lot of people say that these scratch easier if you get up against a tree limb or something. One, don't get up against a tree limb. And if you do, I'd rather have a scratched window than a busted one. 2021 uh, and prior model campers had the glass windows and they only come out about this far. These are actually usable, let more lighting and uh, natural airflow through. All right, also in the dinette area, we've got our two USB outlets, the DC 12 volt and the uh, two 110 outlets right there. Underneath, that's where your battery's gonna be located. 
it's going to be a lot easier to get to if you press this up right here this does lift out that way you can have easier access to your battery compartment there and then you have your battery disconnect switch here on the side that little silver switch all right we have made it to the kitchen now like i said earlier this is going to be your only sink inside of the camper if that's a big deal to you and you need one inside of the bathroom as well uh, you would want to be looking at the 865 model because it'll have one inside the bathroom as well as in the kitchen uh, below you're going to find a couple of soft closed drawers we've got a cabinet above uh, the sink here a little bit of storage radio you can uh, use it for cds dvds no blu-ray unfortunately uh, auxiliary input as well as uh, local radio stations we've got us a microwave over here to the side and beside that i accidentally skipped this this is where you check your fresh water black water and gray water levels along with the battery and running the water pump so the fresh water uh, capacity is going to be 30 gallons your black water is 14 gallons and your gray water is 13 gallon capacity and then battery you only get one battery with this camper uh, when you move up to the 850 that's where you gain two batteries one's really all you need in this camper though so this one the difference between the 825 and the 865 again the sister model camper uh, with this one you have the two burner stove top as you can see here with the 865 you're going to have a three burner stove top along with the oven so that would be another thing that you gain with the 865 if you're uh, looking for that nature if you're looking for the lightest camper possible for your 250 this would be the best fit for it we have a two-way fridge over here they used to be three-way i'm not really sure if they're still wired that way or not because the fridge here says dc ac and gas so this fridge is three-way compatible but on the sheet here it says two-way right there so i'm not really sure i won't know until i get a battery in here if it will run on uh, dc but anyways i usually don't run them on dc anyways just because it runs the batteries dead uh, i actually found that out on my 975 one time so uh, that was all I needed to know to run it on gas or AC. Above my head here, uh, well, let me mention that you also have 77 inches of interior uh, headroom in here. So from the floor to the ceiling, you have 77 inches. I am six foot, six foot one with the uh, good old fat bottom shoes on. So I have plenty of head space in here. The only places I got to watch out for is going out the door right here just duck down a little bit unless you want to tear your noggin off and getting up into the bed you have two foot nine inch i think it's a two foot nine yeah i'm pretty sure it's like uh two foot nine inches of uh space between the floor here and the ceiling so this mattress taking up about six inches of that you got you know about two two foot three inches of space right here so you really just get up here and crawl back so you don't knock your noggin on the ceiling here but yeah that fridge let me open that up again got a little dude hanging out right there i'm gonna have to take care of him can't do it while the video is rolling though it might get demonetized or something but a pretty good sized fridge it's enough for you know your meats and your capri suns and obviously beer got a nice little ice box up there i need to keep an eye on this dude though yeah there he is there. go back into hiding all right what i was going to point out though was this truma venta air ac unit is new for 2023 this the tankless on demand uh, truma aqua go water heater and the truma vario heat furnace this is a 13.5 btu unit um, which is a lot better than the coleman mach 11 that they were using for the previous year model it's a lot quieter and it also has a built-in dehumidifier which i thought was insanely cool in the bed area we have us a true queen size mattress it is 60 by 80 inches 
I could even move this a little bit more over there if I wanted more room over there. Um, got the little thermal paper stuff underneath. If I was going to buy this camper, I'd go ahead and add the Froley system. Elevates the bed up a little bit, gets you some airflow going underneath there. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed this 19-inch TV, swung it around. You can position it towards the bed. If you're, you know, in the bed, you can see it easily. Or you can throw it towards the dinette if you need to see over here. You can actually see it from outside as well. I'll show you that when we get out there. Got a couple windows up in the bed area as well. That's your designated fire escape. Although, I'm taking my chances running out the door if there's a fire. Definitely, I'm not falling out the window. All right, everybody, congratulations. You've made it to the outside camper tour, and I would like to correct myself on one thing that I was wrong about on the inside of the camper there when I was talking about the Truma Aqua Go. This one does not have that. This one has the Truma Combi system. Let me show you what that is. So uh, that means that it also doesn't have the Truma Vario Heat Furnace. This one, the Truma Combi system, that is your water heater and your furnace all in one. Takes up less space, more efficient, and uh, uh, supposed to be an endless stream of hot water as well. And that's all controlled on that uh, Truma panel on the inside of the camper. So I did want to clear that up real quick. I thought this one had the Truma Aqua Go and Vario Heat Furnace, but it's got something that's you know also a superior product and uh, been being used in the recreational world for quite a while. So uh, it is a proven product. That's actually the same system that I have in my enduro camper over there the truma combi i think it works pretty well so uh like i said we are on the outside now we'll go up to the roof last we'll just walk on down the side so for 23 or 2024 you see that they kept the mountain graphics that is a standard feature meaning uh you don't have to pay extra for it you're already paying for it in that original base price we have four electric happy jacks around all four corners that are also included in that base price these are not an upgrade this is what you can expect to see on a standard build happy jack 4220s if you run into battery failure or uh, jack failure say one decides that it's not going to work for you that day which we rarely run into you flip this switch down pop this cap off and you've got a crank that's supplied by lance in that box where you can crank it up and down you also have this little drill bit adapter that you can put in there and uh in in your drill and drill it up and down like i said you want this switch flipped down that way you're not messing up the motor and then up to uh, be able to run it by remote the lance 825 has one single propane tank i think i just locked it yeah there we go one single 20 pound propane tank and in this door you're also going to find your little external propane connection as well you just unbutton it here let her hang on out the bottom there who am i hung up on there you go see that that way you can still close the door and utilize that external connection right here is going to be your fresh water fill that's where you fill your 30 gallons of fresh water on the go. This is a exterior uh, little vent for the Truma Combi system when you have that furnace going or the uh, water heater. It also, it also acts as a nice hand warmer when it's cold outside. You stick your hand down there, got you a nice little hand warmer. Okay, and like I just showed you, this is gonna be the Truma Combi system. I don't really know what else to show you in there. Uh, to the right of it, you're going to have your 30 amp plug in. All of your campground connections are going to be on this side. 30 amp. Uh, let's see. Well, where is it? Oh, there it is, right there in the back. Then you've got your city water connection right here and your black water flush system here. So you would definitely want to have that in the open position when hooked into that and flushing the tank out. Then you've got your campground uh, parking satellite connections. 
I have no idea why this is so freaking long. This probably needs to be cut, like right about here. Uh, I really have no idea why it's, you know, 20,000 foot long. Okay, watch my head here, make sure I don't hit it. We've got our outdoor shower for all of our people that like to give their fellow campers a show. We got cold and hot water ran to this. A lot of people use this for rinsing off uh, cooking utensils when you're cooking outside, rinsing off the dog, rinsing off your sandy or muddy feet or shoes. We have us a little storage compartment here and another one below. Oop. Lance gave us an extra. I'd assume it's extra. I don't see any place where that was supposed to be screwed into, so that's good. A lot of people actually remove this tube right here too to give for a little bit more uh, room. But you can fit a, a 10 foot sewer hose in there. Um, it's practically useless. How, how did I open this? Oh yeah. There we go. All right, so um, I've had people comment and say that you can use this for putting ice and beer in. Great idea. And you can also use it for doggy poop bags is what another uh, nice lady in the comments said. So another good idea there. You leaving? All right, see ya. All right, so right here you're gonna notice that this says four season with all the beautiful pictures here. You've got the uh, heated basement, which is gonna supply heat to the holding tanks, the water lines, all that good stuff, and keep everything nice and warm, and uh, hopefully keep it from freezing. We're certified green, go earth. Still don't really know what that means. I guess we use good material, eco-friendly materials or something. Uh, we've got patio lights on all three corners here. We have, and these are also gonna be two ways. So you're gonna have a white light and an amber light. You're gonna have that on the rear, on that side, and that side over there. Docking lights, manual rear awning, backup camera. And if you notice this ladder right here, this is uh, called a fat ladder with a pH. Uh, this is rated for like, what, 250 pounds, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, 250 pounds right there. So as you can tell by the looks of this thing, this is really, really freaking thick. A lot bigger than, you know, the traditional ladders other companies are using. Get rid of this here. Get that out of the way. A uh, little uh, keypad here for the uh, door handle. We've got our dog leash uh, secure whatever you want to call this a uh, dog leash holder or tie yeah dog ring i don't know what you call that but it's for uh putting a lead on for your dog we've got the uh external charge port uh, this is actually what we use when a camper comes in without batteries to be able to run the jacks up and down and if it has slides then you can run the slide in and out with uh, this as well so you can jump off the battery here uh, you can even plug in another solar panel if you wanted to uh, to it as well 110 outlets on the outside here battery vent uh, this right here is what holds your door open there we go the uh, main drains and the low water drains you're going to have your cold and hot water lines here fresh water tank drain gray water black water and again gray water is 13 gallon black water is 14 gallon license plate holder all right on the campground side we have made it to the uh, final side here we've got our auto wind sensing awning uh, so like I said on the inside if you leave the power on to it and it gets too windy it's going to roll itself back inside or back in and then you have a nice LED light strip at the end of it there's our other patio light that is a two-way external speakers you can rock out the ACDC uh, Def Leppard Pink Floyd whoever your jam is you can uh, rock out to them out here uh, take off the neighbors they'll love it uh, and what I was saying was you can see the TV from here as well see I ain't lying Got the window open you can see the TV 
So you can also play the TV through the speakers here. So I know it's game season, SEC down here in the south. Um, you got the game on, got it going through the speakers, and you can, uh, you know, grill out and not miss a beat. Uh, integrated rain gutters up there. That's pretty much it, though, on this side. I don't think I missed anything. Mm, nope, nope, we all good over here. Let's go check out the roof. So 2023, I noticed they made this change to this like more gritty and like more durable roof. Feels like if you got up against tree branches that you wouldn't have a single issue with one puncturing that. It feels really durable. It's a one piece roll on roof. So no worries there. I've got our vent open over here. Here's our Lance load rack system. You can definitely tie down uh, kayaks. Uh, the rod coffins, rod tubes, uh, Yakima storage boxes, whatever you want to tie down up here, you can use this for, and it does move back and forth. That right there is our Truma Aventa Air AC unit, 13.5 BTU unit. Our King Jack for the TV, Max Air Fan. And let me tell you how spoiled you are when you buy one of these. My 2021 camper did not have this. And I had to drill into the side of this thing for my Max Air uh, 2 covers. You have to get the 2s because those are the ones rated for power vents. But these already have the mounts built in. They have spoiled you. Like I said, the 825 is rated for one solar panel. It does not come with it. It is an added feature. But um, we mainly add them to all of our stock units. If you go up to the 865, that's where you gain the space for a second one. All right, everybody, that's all I got for you today on the 2024 Lance 825. Really appreciate you watching. If this camper looks like it'd be a great fit for you and your, uh, your ride, give me a call at 423-892-6272. Get my BSRP pricing. It's a lot better than that, you know, $57,000, $57.75. Heck of a lot better than that, I promise you. It's worth the phone call. It'll save you a lot, a lot of money. If this isn't the right camper for you, you think that you need something a little bit bigger, I've got bigger. Look uh, behind me. I got a whole row of campers over here um, ranging. If you have a dually truck, I got them to fit the duallys as well. If I don't have it, I can get it too. So just give me a call. Uh, it'll definitely be worth your time. But like I said, this was the 2024 Lance 825. It is Lance's smallest, lightest, and cheapest four-season camper in current production right now. Um, what else do I need to tell you? It's made for the 250, 350, uh, 3500 2500 series short bed single rear wheel trucks it weighs 2243 pounds dry and now i think that's it if you have any questions drop it below give me a call 423-892-6272 uh, i try to answer as many comments below uh, as possible that i see anyways um if you like the video, go ahead and throw me a thumbs up. let YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about. Might be enjoyable to watch, something like that. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so. Join this Fish and Fun family. We're uh, closing in on 28,000 subscribers. I think that's amazing, and I'd like to keep it going. So, again, if you aren't already, join this Fish and Fun family. And if you want to see another video from me for some reason... It'd have to be a crazy reason, but you can hit this notification bell up in the top right corner and that'll let you know whenever I post a video. That way you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest. All right, uh, that, that's really all I got for you today now. So uh, until next time, y'all take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.